They lit candles. They signed a chain of prayers. They sang a song of love and peace. On a bitterly cold night earlier this week, hundreds of supporters, from classmates and teachers to parents and total strangers, gathered at Leary Field to share hope for a Waltham High School senior who was critically injured in a car accident last week and remains in a coma in Burlington Hospital. Never in my life have I seen such a strong sense of community brought on by a tragedy, and not only in Waltham, in the neighboring towns and states as well. I've known John since sixth grade when he moved here. Um, I, just, I think I'm speaking for everyone and say we all want him back. Early on the morning of November 29th, John was struck by an alleged drunk driver near his work at Waltham Crossing Assisted Living Home on Trapello Road. The woman who hit him pled not guilty to six counts at her arraignment last week, but John's friends are now focusing on his recovery, praying he will wake up. And he's still, like, he can feel pain, which is really good. And, like, he knows when we're there, when we talk. So, it was, I just felt like I should talk to him, though, tell him, let him know that I was there. John's sister, Jessica, who has been by his side with the rest of the family since the accident, said Monday that John's condition is improving. He still hasn't woken up yet, but he's fighting to wake up. Like, they've taken him off some of the sedation medication in hopes that he will wake up. It's day-to-day, -day, it's a day-to-day -day process, but we haven't given up hope that he's going to wake up. On Thursday, the News Tribune reported that John has made even more significant progress, moving limbs and yawning, and has been taken off a number of machines, a reflection perhaps on the power of positive thinking and the strength of one special team. The, Waltham's a great city, and this tonight, the cold, the snow, and people still came, and I think the kids really, they understand that support is good and that there's a lot of people out there to help one another at a time of need. Since the accident, friends and family from across the region have prayed for John at vigils and organized events such as this bake sale last weekend. It's just amazing. Um, it's just beyond words how many people love and care about my brother. A Facebook page created by one of John's friends has been a focus for all the support. It has to do with the power of Facebook, you know, so often in my job I deal with a lot of negative aspects towards Facebook and cyberbullying and this has been a great thing that the, the positive aspects and the power and reach out that Facebook has. John is a fighter and right, right now, now he's fighting, fighting. And, he and he will keep, keep on fighting, fighting until he gets, gets to a full recovery. Fight on, fight on. For Waltham Newswatch, this is Chris Wangler.